Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 55 of the Geography GCSE countdown and today we are looking at managing the growth of squatter settlements. So let's go. Why have favelas grown? Squatter settlements in Brazil are called favelas. They are illegal settlements where people have built homes on land they did not own. The favelas are areas of great social deprivation. Many people leave Amazonia and the drought hit areas of North East Brazil countryside in the hope of finding a better life in the city and often end up in favelas. Many are young adults so the birth rates are high and more in the, than in the more prosperous areas of the city. Where are the favelas located? There are up to 800 favelas in the Greater Rio area. 60% are in the suburbs, 25% are in the outer parts of the city. Some are being built up to 40 kilometres from the city centre. 22% of Rio's population live in favelas. The authorities have cleared many of those near the city centre to make Rio more attractive to businesses and tourists. Rochihina. Rochihina is the largest favela in Rio. It has a population of 75,000 in 2010, but that is now likely to be three times higher. The favela is built on a very steep hillside, overlooking the wealthy areas of Impamina, where many of its inhabitants work. More regular work allows improvements to be carried out by the people themselves, as well as those done by the local authorities. As a result of improvements, the favela now has 90% of houses with built brick and with electricity, running water and sewage systems. Many houses have TVs and fridges, its own newspaper and radio station. There are also retail facilities for food, clothes, video rental shops, bars, travel agents and a McDonald's. And there are also more schools, health facilities and a private university. But the challenges of squatter settlements. Construction. Houses were initially poorly constructed as they were built illegally. They're now mostly brick and concrete. Many favelas are built on steep slopes and heavy rain from storms can lead to landslides. In 2010, 224 people were killed and 13,000 lost their homes when houses were swept away. There is limited road access due to the steepness of the slopes. Services. In the non-improved favelas, around 12% 11, 11, of homes have no running water, around 30% have no electricity and around 50% have no sewage connections. Many homes use illegal connections to electricity pylons. Sewers are often open drains and drinking water is often obtained by tapping into the city's main water. Taps are often at the bottom of steep slopes and require several trips down each day to fetch water. Crime. There is a high murder rate of 20 per, th per thousand people in many favelas. Drug gangs dominate many favelas and many inhabitants disrupt the police because of violence and corruption. Unemployment. Unemployment rates are as high as 20%. Much employment is poorly paid with irregular jobs in the informal sector. The average income may be less than £75 a month. And finally, health. There are population densities of 37,000 per kilometre squared. Infant mortality rates are as high as 50 per 1,000. Waste can build up on the streets, increasing the danger of disease, and occasionally fires break out. Smoke is harmful to health. So I hope this has been useful as an insight into the lives of people in Brazil. I will see you tomorrow for day 56. We are looking at planning for Rio's urban poor. So I will see you in the morning. Bye guys.